Hello there, person. Welcome to another video of making the game Wraith Binder. Let's check out what's new. This week, made a lot of progress with building buildings and making it so much more easy and less accidental to press the buttons for building buildings. I'm gonna go ahead and here and cheat to get enough uh, levels to get the Skybot ability. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is uh, get the Skybot ability and show out how it works now. Basically, uh, it's been greatly simplified. So before, the way it worked was you press the button and um, it would, um, gosh, how the heck did it work before? I've gone through a couple iterations this week of trying out one way and then another way. Um, the way I had it earlier this week, gosh, I can't remember how I had it a couple weeks ago. But anyways, earlier this week I had it so you would hold down the button and uh, and then if you let go quickly, it would change the button, change the uh, building type. But if you held it down for a long time, it would start to show a progress bar and uh, and then build after you implemented, if you, if you got that progress bar finished up. So, um... But the way, that just didn't really work out for fast-paced combat. So as you're running around, you're trying to like build buildings during combat, that didn't work very well. It was quite, um, it was kind of clunky to tell you the truth. So uh, this way, it's a lot better. Basically, you press the L trigger button to change which building you're building. So as I'm pressing the L LT, the Skybot is showing me which building he wants to build now. Block, mine, or bridge. And as you level up the, the Skybot, of course, you have more more types of buildings you can build. So you've got one dedicated button now for changing which building you've got. So that makes it a lot easier to use. And the other thing is, or the other button you've got here is LT, which is your, or your LB, which builds the building. So if I just, um, hold it down, I'm holding down LB, I can rotate the character and choose where I want that building to land. Um, and then as soon as I let go of the button, it places the object, or the new building. So, we can change, uh, let's go to create some mines. Put a mine here, here. So, yeah, this works out way better for, for combat, and for just being more intuitive in general. Because uh, before, um, short pressing the button versus long pressing the button was a little bit confusing. It wasn't that intuitive to use, and it was clunky during combat. And I, I guess I finally remembered how it used to work. So it used to work where um, you would press you would press the button to begin building, and then it would drop you into sort of a totally different mode where your character was locked, completely locked in its movement. And you would have to press A to confirm which building you wanted to build, B to cancel, and um, and you could you could rotate uh, you could press left or right to change which building type um, you wanted to build. Is that right? I don't know. The whole point is that it was really locking you into a certain interface. And as a new player, uh, you're just trying to get used to this game, right? And you accidentally press the Skybot button. You would be locked into this whole new sort of interface where pressing you had to, you had to press A or B to get out of it or to get into it. Even though it had those buttons on the screen, it just wasn't that. It was just more clunky even than the other version I was talking about earlier. So, uh, so basically, this new way of doing it is so much more smooth, easy, and intuitive, and also easy easy enough for for new players too. They're just. Um, they haven't ever played this game before, and and they don't know what's going on. So um, so yeah, you can basically just have a dedicated button for building, and a dedicated button for swapping which building type you're in. There's no confusing interface, and there's no locking the player to a certain position. Just notice this whole time, um, the only time it ever locks the player is if. Um, is when you are holding down the build button, so it only locks you when you're actually choosing a position for uh, your your building. 
So that could be really quick because if you're in fast, if it's, this is really fast paced, you're in the middle of combat and you want to quickly build a mine and you've already had that selected, you could just press and release that button really quick and then all of a sudden you've really minimized the amount of time that uh, you are locked into a certain position. Okay, so another thing we've got new this week is that uh, these erosion, so as the blocks erode, it wiggles and then they explode and fall off. And uh, also the player wiggles when you're standing on one of these wiggling blocks. So that really helps to show um, what the heck's going on with, with these blocks. The fact that they're eroding, they're destroying, the world, the world itself is eroding slowly. And it helps you to know what the heck, what, um, what's uh, about to happen to you if you're standing on it and you're wiggling too. You can kind of tell, oh, there's some feedback going on that tells you what you should probably <laughs> run away. Uh, what else is new this week? Let's check out the change log. Oh yeah, fix the Skybot Blaster so it does more damage as you level up. Oh, also meditate. Let's check out meditate. This is not nice because meditate now shows when you're at full health. So before it wouldn't show you you were at full health yet. And so basically, um, if you're already at full health, it just wouldn't do anything at all. There was no visual feedback. There was no any kind of feedback at all telling you that you're already at full health. So uh, right now I'm at full health. Oh, we've got invincible on. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and use the meditate ability. Oh, wait. Do I have it yet? Oh, there we go. Okay. So there. I'm already at full health, and it basically it allows me for a second to go into that meditative pose, and then it also flashes the, the hit point bobble down in the left, the red bobble down there. It, it glows and flashes for a second there, showing that you're already at full health. So there's some nice feedback going on there. Makes it clear. Still invincible. Uh, makes it clear that you, you know, you're already at full health. And if you're not at full health, let's go over here and you can meditate. And then as soon as you reach full health, it will flash the HP bar and stop your meditation. So, yeah, so there you have it. That's what's new with Wraithbinder. Thanks for watching this video. We'll catch you next time.